This demonstration shows the capabilities within the JD Edwards Enterprise One Mobile Sales Inquiry Module. This functionality is intended for a salesperson who is at a customer site and needs to look up information on the customer's orders, determine the current availability of an item, and give the customer the starting list price of an item. These are simple inquiry tasks that do not allow the salesperson to edit the information or create new sales orders. For this demonstration, I am using an iPhone. I click the mobile sales icon on the home screen to launch the application. I am then taken to the user authentication page. I enter my username and password to log in. This is the same user sign-on and password as the standard Enterprise One applications and uses the same security model. This demonstration is going to show you how to search for sales orders for a specific customer, filter the orders based on document type, and then review the details of the sales order. First, I will select the Sales Order Inquiry option to review both the current and historical orders. The search filter form gives you many fields where you can actually enter values to help filter the sales order information. I want to locate the customer orders based on the name of the customer, so I'm going to select the search icon next to the sold to. I then click in the customer name field and enter some text that I know is in the customer's name to locate that customer number. The results show me the customer that contain the text anywhere in their name. I'm going to select the customer 4242 Capital Logistics, which then gets returned to the search filter form. This customer is now populated in the sold to field. I can also expand on the more search options area to find more ways to filter the data for the sales orders. The document type and branch plant are multi-select fields, so you can put multiple values in each of those fields. I can select on the search on date to determine the date from the sales order that I actually want to filter by, and then I can use the today minus and today plus to select the dates that I'm looking at for the requested date. In this example, I am looking back to all historical orders and I'm looking forward for the next 30 days. So now I simply click the search button to review my results. This form allows me to review the summary of each of the orders that met my search criteria. I can get the customer sold to, shipped to, order number, the branch plant, the requested date, and the order total. The system dynamically calculates the total number of orders that met my search criteria and displays the document types that were also returned. I can then filter further by selecting the document type. I want to only view the transportation sales orders, so I'm going to select doc type S4 from the list. And then the system dynamically changes the number based on how many orders met my criteria. When I select on the order, I can see more detail information. So I can now see the total price for each of the items on the line, and I can expand that to see the unit price as well as branch plant more date information, a shipment number, and the next and last statuses from this, for each line on the sales order. So after I'm done reviewing the sales orders, I can go back to the home menu. I also need to inquire on availability for an item for a customer. I select the item availability option from the home page where I can locate available quantity for the different locations. I want to find the availability for item 220 in branches 10 and 30. This item is already populated as well as the branch plants because I saved these values from an earlier search criteria. So I can quickly, quickly click the search button and see the total quantity available for both of those branches. You can see I have two branches which, with quantity available, a total quantity of 8,005. Typically my, brand, my customer gets sourced out of branch plant 30 so I'm going to select on Branch Plant 30 to see more detailed information. I can review the three locations that, within Branch Plant 30 that have inventory. You can see that there's plenty of stock for my customer to purchase. The customer typically doesn't purchase this item, so I'm going to give them a starting list price. I can simply click the Price button from here, and then I can review the current base price for the item in the different units of measures and the different currencies. If I needed to, I could click on the Availability button to return to the item availability and look at inventory in another branch, or I could click on the Filters button to go to the Base Price Search form and look for the price for the item in another branch. 
I found all the information the customer requested so I can now return to the home page. This concludes the demonstration. Thank you.